Well, rats. People trying to eat lunch Wednesday left Las Brasas in downtown Woodland hungry. They're not open. What? I've been eating here for like seven years, coming to lunch and dinners. It's good. It was good. But after a decade of serving authentic Mexican food on Main Street, they're going to be missed for sure. Las Brasas shut its doors for good. In a Facebook post, the owner said, it's with a heavy heart we are announcing the closing. The reason? Rising costs, poor economic conditions, and challenges produced by unfair competition. Really sympathize with folks who feel like this is extra competition, which I'm sure it is. Spencer Bowen with the City of Woodland says the competition is mobile pop-ups where people serve or even cook food from their vehicles. We can trace some foodborne illnesses back to some of these, these pop-ups, and we want to prevent that for our residents. Operators need proper permits from the city and health department, but since they're mobile, the city says it's having trouble enforcing the codes. Folks move around, too. If, if you shut someone down for an illegal operation, perhaps the next week they pop back up. They're out of control. There's too many. They got no overhead. No regulations like the restaurants. This week, the city has a new plan to ticket the property owners where the pop-ups work in the parking lots. This is our, our piece of the puzzle where we can help, um, which is going after the, the property owners, some of which don't even know this is happening on their property, and making sure they're held accountable for um, knowingly or unknowingly supporting this illegal pop-up food vending. Some customers want the city to take action and create a level playing field for all the businesses. It's very sad. To see these go. You know, we're, we, we love these great places. It was here for 10 years and now to see it go, it's just a tragedy. In Woodland, Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News. The city started giving tickets this week to property owners and will follow up with second or even third offenses if pop-ups continue to operate illegally.